This is um, assignment document A and B for Romeo and Juliet, assignment number four. And you'll find it on your calendar. Um, let's look at this. So you should be looking at document A to households. I've put it on um, the following slide so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, so document A. Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't. Okay, let's read this then. Okay, I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. So let's stop there for a second, okay? So let's make this smaller. So who are the two households mentioned in the first line? Okay, so what is this? Who are the, the two feuding families? Okay, so by this time you should know it's the Capulets and the Montagues. Okay, so we're going to describe the relationship between the two households. Okay, by looking at this. Um, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny. Okay, so they have an ancient grudge. These are not two households that like each other very much. Okay, number three, Romeo and Juliet come from the fatal loins of these two foes. What are two meanings of the word fatal? Okay, so let's look at the line up here from, whoops, um, we're on one, two, three, four, five, line five. <clears throat> from forth the fatal loins of these two foes. Foes means enemies, okay? And loins means um, they gave, um, it's their bloodline, okay? They came from that family, okay? So what is what are two um, meanings of the word fatal? There, he had a fatal wound. What, is, what does that mean to you? If it's fatal, it means they die, right? And then also fatal in the case of, Romeo and Juliet, their their love for each other ended up being fatal because they died. But also you could think of fatal as it was doomed, okay? So it wasn't going to work out, okay? Which other words in the prologue suggest that Romeo and Juliet's love is doomed? Okay, so we just said that. Um, so we have um, the line we just read, okay? Um, that the, that it was um, from forth the fatal loins of these two foes. Okay, so that is one. Okay, but what's another one? Whose misadventured pious overthrows do with their death bury their parents' strife? So let's go back up. Um, from the ancient grudge break to new mutiny. Where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. Okay, so we could say because of line three from the the ancient grudge, okay, um, suggests that Romeo and Juliet's love is doomed. And there may be another line in there that says that too, okay, or has that meaning to it, okay? How will Romeo and Juliet die? What will their deaths remove, Okay. So, whose misadventure pious overthrows, do with their death bury their parents' strife. So what does strife mean? Okay, so it's going back to um, feuding, right? So with their death, it's burying, or it's getting rid of the parents arguing, okay? Um... What evidence is there in this document that two families are to blame? So the question of this, which your research paper is going to, not research, I'm sorry, your essay is going to be based on is who is responsible for the death of Romeo and Juliet? So this is one of the questions that you're going to put in the next set. Of, or the answer to it into one of the buckets, okay? So, um, so
So what do you think, what evidence is there in this document that the two families are both to blame? Mm -hmm. So let's see. Two households both alike in dignity. So they have a lot of pride. Okay. They um, are similar families. Okay. They have an ancient grudge. Okay. Where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, two enemies. Okay, so you can say, um, based on the two families, maybe the two families could be to blame for Romeo and Juliet's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, death. Or you could say fate itself, okay, is responsible for this. So it was um, related to the feuding, okay? Okay, we kind of already go, went through this, okay, so. Um, so let's look at document B. Okay, so what names does a nurse call Juliet? What kind of relationship do these names suggest? So, Lady Capulet, okay, is, is speaking first, okay. Nurse, where's my daughter? Call her forth to me. The nurse says, I bade her come. What? Lamb? What? Ladybird? God forbid. Where's this girl? What, Juliet? Okay. So, what does the nurse call her? She calls her a lamb and a ladybird. These are both um, terms of endearment or terms that um, show her affection or her love. For Juliet. Okay. Two. When Juliet enters, she says, Madame, I am here. Do you think she is speaking to the nurse or her mother? What kind of relationship is suggested by the use of Madame? So Madame is very formal. Okay. So most people don't call their mother Madame or Miss. Okay. So she has a more formal or not as close relationship with her mother. How old was Lady Caplet when she got married? How old is Juliet now? So Lady Caplet says in the middle there, Mary, that, Mary is the very theme I came to talk of. Tell me, daughter Juliet, how stands your disposition to be married? So how do you feel about getting married? Juliet says, it is an honor that I dream not of. So she doesn't really want to get married um, at this point. Lady Caplet, well, think of marriage now. Younger than you. So Lady Caplet saying, I was younger than you when I was married. Here in Verona, ladies of esteem are made already mothers by my count. So um, young ladies are already mothers. Um... And Lady Capulet was, that you are now a maid, thus then in brief, the valiant Paris seeks you for his love. So Paris wants to marry her. What say you? Can you love the gentleman? So can you love Paris? This night you shall behold him at our feast. So you're going to meet him at the party at the feast. Speak briefly. Can you like of Paris's love? I'll look to like. Of looking, liking, move. Okay, so going back to how old she is. Okay, so um, I remember reading this earlier. I believe she is not um, yet 13. And her mother was even younger than that when she married. So her Lady Kathleen must have been like 11 or 12. Um, many people struggle with Julia's line. I look to like of looking, liking, move. What do you think she means? So, I'll look to like, I'll, I'll, I'll look, all right? But it doesn't necessarily mean I'll like. So, if looking, liking, move. If he moves her, moves her heart, 
opens her heart, then she'll consider it, perhaps. How might this document be used to answer the question, who's to blame? Okay, so again, um, we want to use this as part of our essay and part of the bucket. So in this one, the, the dialogue is between Lady Caplet and Juliet, okay, her mother. And so she's pressuring her into marrying Paris at a young age. So how does this lead to Juliet's death, okay? Okay, so this is um, document C, okay? So um, your assignment is A and B, so we're gonna stop here, and then we'll look at document C and D, um, your next assignment. So please get this done. If you are doing it like you're um, supposed to on your calendar, this is not um, as challenging as it will be if you procrastinate and put off doing this. So make sure um, you're doing your very best to keep up, okay? Good luck, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.